Khalid, it is a tribute to your craft that we now identify you as Afghanistan. Does this film capture the general atmosphere of Afghanistan? Is it so rough, so barren? Is there more color, more light? Is it as grim as it appears to be? Um, I mean, in terms of in terms of landscape, I mean, what you see in the film. I mean, we actually shot the film in Western China, which is always a bit of a surprise for everyone. Everyone goes Western China, um, and uh, I mean that area is a side thing to your question. But I mean, we chose that area because it's actually very very similar to Afghanistan. It's uh, it's about three four hours drive from the border. It shares a culture. It shares a landscape. It shares cultural influences, and that area generally central asia has kind of been a crossroad of civilizations and empires so it's a huge mix and and that kind of feeds into the fact that afghanistan has 19 different ethnicities what you see in terms of the barrenness in terms of that landscape is what you would see exactly on that road from uh from pakistan the jalalabad road from pakistan to uh kabul but as I was saying earlier, different parts of the country in their landscape are so hugely different. Um, you go up to the north, as I went, and through that Salang Pass, and it's just green. And you go into the Panjshir Valley, and it's, um, you know, people talk about Kashmir as being one of the most beautiful places on earth in terms of, you know, its greenery and its mountainscape, and it's, it's so rich in that way. Um, but in terms of it as a, in terms of it politically, um, I mean, what you see in the film is you see it at the end of the period of the Taliban. Things have changed now. Things are significantly better now than they were during the Taliban. But having said that, there's still a long way to go. And um, you know, it's always a difficult thing. Uh, maybe this is how I can put it best. Um, Traveling through Afghanistan, or I remember one time I was standing, I was taken outside of Kabul slightly, and I was at the top of this, uh, not quite a mountain, but sort of mountainy thing, with this huge view over Kabul. And it was just extraordinarily beautiful. And while I was there, uh, the Kuchi people, who are one of the ethnicities, there was this man who came up, suddenly these goats and sheep appeared and it was this incredible inc you know you suddenly felt like you were somewhere biblical you know it was it was pastoral you know the sense of a shepherd who was as old as and there's an incredible beauty to that it's very arresting and yet at the same time that coochie person was you know was they, the, the coochies don't generally tend to have to live in tents and don't have very much uh, you know they're essentially homeless almost um, and so the, the, I almost sometimes feel like you know you, you see something that's so that's so beautiful in a, in a very old way and yet at the same time you think would I want to live like that 